friends and welcome to my channel. I am on to share really fast a little walkthrough of this strawberry theme swap that I created for a friend that I'm swapping with. It turned out so cute. Um, some of it matches, some of it doesn't. So let's jump right in. I created this set here to kind of go together. And this is the 3D camper from Eileen Hall. I used a uh, 110 pound cardstock as the base and then layered up the printed sheets. And it comes from Sweet Stories from Maggie Holmes uh, Crepe Paper Collection. I added some jemmies to the tire. I added some little stickers here, little flowers, some little diamond dots, just super cute. I did draw in the little curtains. On the other one that I shared on Instagram, I think I put the one that had the little curtain. So I just filled it up with matching embellishments, basically. Ah, okay, that's gonna bug me. So I created these circle ones, super cute. I just used crepe paper, a little um, doily that I die cut. The strawberry is also die cut and white paper and then I colored it with my Copic markers to match. Then just stamped a little sweet on both of the little flags and then the little um, dot is a little gem that I've got from a swap recently. I made these bows. This bow comes from Allie. I think it had like, comes with like a, gosh I want to say a gingerbread man but I'm not 100% sure. And then again the same little um, strawberry that I die cut. And I try to keep everything in blue. Uh, this strawberry pick comes from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of the two. It just came in a pack a while ago and I just thought, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I gotta have it in my stash and perfect because it worked out. And then this is a ribbon that I created myself. I used a blue and pink polka dot paper, uh, ribbon and uh, just did a ruffle and then attached it onto a pink ruffled ribbon. And then I just kind of wrap it around. It's about 12 inches long, I think. Anywho, that's what's in there. And then I added some fun little uh, charms already wired up so that, you know, you can have a little extra pink and blue to match. And then this fun little memory decks card. I used a Stampin' Up Punch, which I have here, I'll show you. And this is, uh, I found it on their website on clearance, I think, or on sale, I think it was on sale. And then I just added some stamps that match from Sarah Bargo and also I used uh, the oxide ink to create that little wet look there. And I just, I really like the way this turned out. And it all goes in this little camper as a little embellishment kit. The next thing is the strawberry book. And this one is the Erica's um, strawberry album. I just used the one piece that has the front, um, the whole strawberry, not the album part that has the connection. I just used a strawberry. I cut four white cardstock sheets and then layered up the papers. I didn't add that extra piece here with the seeds because I wanted the strawberry paper to show. I just used a lot of the, the ephemera and the stickers from the collection. And I, just, I love the way it looks, so cute. I love this paper. I just left it like that. This paper came from Joanne, so it's a lot thinner but I really liked it and I did distress a lot of it out. I used the acetate sheets and the little ephemera pieces. This one is kind of open so you could put your picture. This one's a belly band so you can take the picture out, you know, the circle and put it back in. And oh my gosh, I just love the way this looks. These have pockets and just put some of the tags that come with the ephemera. Um, package in there, added stickers. I did do some tearing, added some washi, same over here, washi and the stickers. I just like the way this looks, turned out so cute. Okay, this one's more interactive. I put the acetate frame and you can see, I put the little sticker and I backed it with some cardstock so you it doesn't stick. And then this one is a little flap and so it opens up so you can put something, a picture in there. My, my idea is a scrapbook but little mini album and I put the rainbow there and add a little um, stickers just love the way this looks I did do some stamping um, before I laid everything down and I used the stamp set that comes with the collection so I use this guy here I use the strawberry and then the happy place there super cute guys Oh my gosh, I just love it. And then this one, this one is not my idea. It is Brittany from BB, is it BB Crafts? Crafts, I think, or K Crafts. Um, I was in a swap and so I love this idea and I created a few of these. Same thing, we were supposed to add a charm, 
um, dangle, so I added a couple charms there. The little strawberries here are from Allie. They're a shaker and like a chocolate dipped one, but I did pink and blue was my theme. It comes with this little strawberry pick, which is so cute. The fresh picked is from Erica's um, Strawberry Sentiment set. Love it. I added some burlap back here. I just I just love this collection and all of it. And so you open it up and I created a cute little page there. I did um, embellish here the same way I did when I did the ones for um, the swap I was in. And then here's my memory decks card that I created. I added another shaker there, a little bow with the strawberries. I added the Nouveau drops um, glaze. It reminds me of that um, fabric puff paint stuff. And then I added another fresh pick there. It's just super cute. I loved loved this i just did some layering these are erica's um the essentials these are the oval shape love it and then i added two cards to this i kind of since i added already the embellishments in the um little camper i thought i'd add two cards because i bought the kit that comes with the the box kit that you can find like at tuesday morning or Sometimes TJ Maxx and Ross carry them too. So I picked that up there. And then the back has a pocket. And I created these super cute strawberries made out of fabric. And this is blue felt. Um, I used to get my felt at My Favorite Things. But I think they discontinued carrying all their felt already. And they used to have really cute um, dyes for rolled flowers. Which is what I used to buy and get them from when I used to make um, baby girl headbands a long time ago, like over 10 years ago now, or about 10 years ago. And I just added the cute little tag. I love it. I have this little super cute tag die here. Let me show you. Super cute. I just always try to find little dies here and there. I don't buy big sets uh, because I know I'm not going to use them. Like I just know myself. I only get stuff that I know I'm, I am going to use and that I can use it in a different way or with just different um, styles and themes. These stamp uh, strawberries again are from um, the Stampin' Up Punch. I'm thinking of adding some ribbon here and maybe some of the extra ephemera here, but I'm not 100% sure. And then this is a sticker from the Maggie Holmes book, the sticker book she has. Now I'm also gonna add this for my friend because um, I just love this strawberry. Like I love this strawberry, oh my God, I love it. I added the double loop bows from the scalloped shape one from Erica, and I'll link all this stuff. I mean, I just, I love this die, really. Like I can't, I have another one in the works. I'm like going through this strawberry die more than the other ones. I have the bus also, I got one going. So I did a belly band for this to hold it in. Now this box, um, I did not create. It is a leftover box from a, from what? Now I can't remember. Oh, my kids, um, Valentine's they came in here and I bought three of them so I have I have one left and I just I love keeping them because they're perfect for cute little swaps and you can like obviously decorate them like this one already had pink so I just covered the back and also the inside but I created these cute little bows um, I love the color the like aqua turquoise with the pink oh I just love it and then I created more little embellishments I put the little strawberry um, on a little clip and added this uh, little pom-pom ribbon but I created these circular um, embellishments and they have a little jar in there and I added a little charm on each one just use the words from Erica's strawberry sentiment I just I love it and the circles also from Erica's um, essentials so and then I created cute little um, oh, I already closed it but what I put in here were the sentiments eh, come out I did all the sentiments, as you can see, in the color, and then I added, this is a strawberry from Erica's dye shaker, the strawberry shaker. Instead of making it a shaker, I just used the this part and glued it down on there as a cover. Same thing with this. I added some strawberries in there. I took the that plastic bag everybody kind of ships their stuff in, and then I just added this cool little paper over it. She can just pull it off. It's just tape, so it's not a big deal. But I just created this little cute display and I wrote sweet. I used to take a lettering classes back when lettering was starting. 
So, and I have a couple books. So I just kind of go through it every now and then to create my own handwriting. And then I, it doesn't look the best, but I like the way it turned out. And then I added another one of the little strawberries in the pink and green, because I thought it looked cute. And another one of the strawberries. And then I also added the shaker dies there, which, oh my gosh, so cute. I love this color. I swapped out, like did two different color schemes just because one has darker pink and the other one just has light pink. But I love the way everything turned out and I am getting ready to ship this baby out. Or actually, she should have already gotten there, gotten this by the time I post this. So I hope she likes it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys like um, and got ideas. I'll link all the, the links that I need to as well as my discount code if you guys wanna go and grab some of this stuff while it's still available because it goes fast. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.